Well, good afternoon. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon, November 27th, 2022. And there's my old pal Rocky. He's, um, he's doing some hunting, I guess, or something. I don't know. He's, he's way over there anyway. He's watching something in the woods. You can see how far away he is. There he is. Anyway, back to the grind. This is the Metro Grocery Store Flyer um, from March 2016. There's the dates that it was effective. The 10th through the 16th of March 2016. It's a Metro store, which is a grocery store chain up here in Canada. Um, for anybody who might be familiar with IGA, that's... Uh, the Independent Grocers Association chain of stores. IG, IGA, they were called. Well, Metro was part of that uh, same company. There's Metro, and there's Loeb, and there's Food Basics, and there's IGA, although you hardly ever see an IGA store anymore. When I was a kid, you used to see them. There was a, They were called IGA Food Liners. And IGA stood for Independent Grocers Association Store. Anyway, let's get back to business here. Here's our prices for March of 2016. Okay, let's see. Pork tenderloin value pack. Three forty-four a pound. Um, they're seedless cucumbers, 99 cents each. Extra large red seedless grapes. 244 a pound. Fresh Atlantic salmon steaks, Ontario rainbow trout or wild Pacific sole fillets, family pack 7.99 a pound. Okay, 344 a pound for fresh chicken drumsticks or fries. Oh wait a minute! No, a dollar ninety-nine a pound for fresh chicken drumsticks and fries. The the free forty-four a pound was for the pork tenderloin. <clears throat> okay, now maple leaf prime chicken, six ninety-eight. You can see that's wings there. Looks like there's drumsticks there too. Chicken wings or breaded chicken. Um, I Italiano bread, two for five dollars. Nestle Pure Life Water, $1.99, and that is for 24 500 milliliter bottles. Um, classical Pasta Sauce, $1.99 each. Here we got our milk and our cereal, so there's breakfast for $2.99. Lactantia, too, that's good milk, that's like the cold filtered stuff. $4.44 for ice cream or pizza. Good deal. Um, there's your lean cuisine, dollar uh, ninety nine each. There you got your ketchup and your mayonnaise, and so on like that. And what is that? There's some sort of an Asian type sauce too. I don't know what that is. Two ninety nine each. Okay. There's there's your ready made meals. Your choice seven ninety nine. You can get pizza or wings or. There's a little food platter type deal. You can get a whole chicken, $7.99 each. On we go. Let's see what else we got here. $2.99 a pound for grapes. $2.99 each for a pack of strawberries. $3.99 a pound for asparagus. Clementines. $3.99 for a bag of clementines. <laughs> Are those kiwis? Yeah, kiwis pack of kiwis there it looks like there's 12 in a pack six on top six underneath 2.99 blackberries 2.49 there you go four cobs of corn 4.77 what are these now seedless cucumbers that's quite a way to pack stuff eh 3.49 for a pack of cucumbers dollar 77 for what are those things there uh squash for various squashes Coconut chunks or mango spears, four ninety nine each. Okay, now huh. two ninety nine for a cantaloupe, two ninety 
$2.99 for a cauliflower. Somebody told me not too long ago that cauliflower is now a terrible price. There's avocados, I guess. They look like avocados. Avocado, I was right. Free for five dollars. Hmm. Mushrooms? I think so. Anyway, on we go. Here's the prices of different things. Those are raspberries. Three ninety nine each. Oh, there you go. There's your broccoli chunks. A dollar ninety nine a pound. Ah, here we go now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, there we go now. <clears throat> snap peas, six ninety nine for a bag of snap peas. There's your various pretty flowers. Of course, it was March, eh? so you're getting into daffodil season. I always like daffodils. Oh, here's meat. Of course, as we know, meat has gone up to an awful price. Pork loin chops, value pack or roast, five ninety nine. Save fifty cents a pound. Five ninety nine a pound. Ten ninety nine. For this is uh, okay. Angus top sirloin roast, value pack, ten ninety nine a pound. Save a dollar fifty a pound. So usually, around what? Uh, Eleven fifty or no twelve fifty I guess a pound. Ah now we got um fresh chicken breast value pack four forty nine Platinum Grill Angus Top Sirloin Medallions Club Steak or Cap Off Steak twelve forty nine a pound save a dollar a pound so normally thirteen forty nine a pound. I don't know what that would be now, but I'm sure it'd be more. I've seen steaks in the store now for sixty dollars just for a little steak. It's insane. Um, uh, Yorkshire Valley Farms organic fresh chicken breast, ten ninety nine a pound. Oh, there's stewing beef, six ninety nine a pound. I always found if you bought stewing beef at the supermarket, you got a lot of gristle. There's a butcher shop in my hometown where I used to get it, and it was beautiful stewing beef, and you paid a little more for it, but you could use every bit of it. It was really good, and that's where I always got my stewing beef. Um, Red Grill Boneless Inside Blade Steak Value Pack or Roast, six ninety nine a pound. Okay, and here's some meals here. Some ready-prepared stuff. All you got to do is pop it in your oven and cook it. Yeah. All prepared, ready for the oven. Cook her up an eater, I guess, eh? There you go. It's interesting to see the meat, because I know the meat has gone way up. Here's seafood. I'll just pan over this stuff here. You go through here. Anything you see that interests you, just go ahead and stop and have a look. I'll go a little slower here for you. This is basically so you can look and compare products that you're buying every day. I know everybody buys different things. There's things in here I would never buy, and I'm sure I buy things you'd never buy too. So this is just to go over it and to show you what uh, what prices are, what prices were in, in March of 2016. What's what now? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's six years ago, or well, six and a half years ago now. So it's a good way to compare anyway, just to see where we're at. Here's cookies. These are all baked goods. Pretty nice, eh? Look at that, eh? Just make your mouth water. Look at that. All good stuff, eh? Oh, look at the cheese, eh? Nice cheese. All good stuff there. Oh, I'll tell you, I really do need to buy groceries. Just about makes me sick now when I go into the store, though. The prices of everything. There's Trick cereal, yogurt, Oasis juice. Oh, there you go. There's the big things of apple juice, two for five dollars. Yeah. One thing I have noticed is that the cost of um, the cost of uh, of things that would hurt us. 
uh, things that aren't as good for us is staying pretty steady. It's really not going up much for candy and potato chips and things like that, well, which are nice, don't get me wrong, I like that stuff. But it's all stuff that you can't live on, you know. It's just stuff that's nice to have for a treat. But the, for food staples, for fresh meat and fresh vegetables, and even for canned vegetables and canned meats and things, the prices are definitely noticeably higher. <coughs> Pardon me. There's your your uh, vegetable oil. Four seventy seven. Like I say, I'm just panning over it here. Anything you see, if you want to compare what you're paying now to the prices here, go ahead. Bear in mind for my American friends or people in other parts of the world that may be, may be watching this, I'm in Canada, so these prices are in Canadian dollars. And also, in Canada, we tend to pay more than people do for things in the United States. Our prices are generally higher. And so, um, for some of you Americans, these prices might be what your stuff is at now. I mean, you may be paying this much in American dollars now, but this is what we were paying in 2016. So bear that in mind, and bear in mind that our prices have gone up quite a bit. Anyway, I'll keep moving here through all this here. I hope I'm not moving too fast for you. Um, there's some toiletries, some antiperspirants, shampoos and things, there's some vitamins, band-aids, all that good stuff there. Yeah, baby shampoo or baby oil or something, what is that? I don't know. Anyway, it's something for babies. Looks like some sort of hygiene item for babies anyway. Probably baby oil or baby shampoo or something, but I really don't know. Anyway, here we go. Yep, there we go now then. Like I say, it'll be easier for my Canadian friends, really, to make the comparison. Because if you're, you know, if you live in the States and you don't, you're not shopping in Canada, it'll be a little hard to tell, really, plus you're not spending Canadian funds. But still, it may give you an idea, anyway, and, uh, you know, but, uh, it may not be of as of as much use to my American, my American um, watchers, I guess I should say, as as it is to my Canadian watchers. This is March of 2016. This is the Metro Store, Metro Store flyer from March of 2016. I'm in Canada. The prices are in Canadian funds. That was six years ago. Um, gives you an idea, anyway. There you go, see Metro, and March 2016, March 10th through 16th, 2016. All right, there's Rocky over there again. Of course, he doesn't worry about the grocery store. He just relies on me to get him food, and he hunts. <laughs> he gets his own meat when he's able to. So, um, anyway, I'll talk to you all later. I hope this series is enjoyable for you. Um, I hope it doesn't frustrate you too much. <laughs> you know, it kind of frustrates me. But I do notice some prices haven't gone up very much. But I can honestly say the prices for meats and for, for vegetables and canned goods and also for paper products, I've noticed all that stuff has gone up quite a bit. The toilet paper, paper towels, and things like that. It's all gone up quite a bit. Um, prices for snack food don't seem to have gone up a lot, a little bit, but not very much. That gives me an idea that maybe the powers that be don't mind us eating stuff that will give us prob health problems, but they're trying to discourage us from eating healthy because, well, maybe we'll live a little longer and that wouldn't be a great thing, I guess, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Heaven for fen, we should do that. Anyway, that's just my opinion, and take it for whatever it's worth. I hope you're all having a good, good afternoon, and I'll talk to you later. I'm going to load this up now.